and welcome. In today's video, we will be discussing the issue of cyber squatting in Vietnam and how trademark owner can address domain name dispute. And we will also explore the requirements for winning such dispute, the challenges posed by inactive domains, and the possibility of claiming damages and attorney's fees in civil proceeding. Additionally, we will touch upon the role of experts' opinions from the Vietnam Intellectual Property Research Institute, or VIBRI, and the importance of bailiffs we need document in litigation proceeding. Let's dive in. Cyber squatting in Vietnam is growing concern. This typically involves individuals or organizations registering domain name uh, with the .vm extension that either mimic or queries resemble the trademark or foreign companies. Some may even post the, this domain to derogatory websites or simply with the, for the price of from the trademark owner. Such actions are often conducted in bad faith, seeking to exploit the foreign party's trademark goodwill, extort payments, or benefit competitors. Trademark owners have several options to settle domain name dispute in Vietnam. First, negotiation or conciliation with the domain registration. Second, arbitration to resolve the dispute. Third, administrative action for unfair competitions registered to domain name use. Fourth, initiation of civil lawsuits at the Vietnamese courts for ruling. In practice, the civil and administrative proceedings are commonly used. The administrative rules managed by the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Information and Communication. Gain tractions after the insurance of joint circular 14 in 2016. However, if the domain resistance in, in entities is vague or they remain inactive, civil lawsuits become the primary recourse. To win a domain name dispute in Vietnam, the trademark in question must be registered in Vietnam and widely used in commerce. Evidence to include proof of widespread and stable trademark use, damage to reputation or material interest caused by the domain name use and the resistant refusal to raise a reasonable agreement. Inactive domain present a, a challenge as passing holding is not considered an indication of bad faith. Uh, therefore, is crucial for trademark owners to monitor inactive domains closely and take enforcement actions when they become active. Claiming damage compensation in Vietnam can be difficult. The plaintiff must provide clear and admissible evidence uh, demonstrating direct causal links between the infringement and damage such as property loss, degree income, and or business opportunity losses. Courts often order negligible compensation. Under Vietnam IP law, right holders can request the court to compel infringers to pay reasonable attorney's fee in civil cases involving IP infringement. Before filing a lawsuit, it is advisable to request an expert's witness opinion from the VIBRI. VIBRI provides expert opinion on IP infringement cases, uh, particularly concerning inventions, industrial designs, geographical indications, and trademark. These opinions can be submitted as evidence and can influence court decisions. A bailiff's witness document is essential for documenting evidence of industrial property rights infringement on the internet and is typically accepted by the court. It serves as a re record um, of facts constituting evidence and can be presented in court to support a party arguments or demonstrate legality of a transaction. In conclusion, addressing cyber squatting and trademark based domain name dispute in Vietnam can be complex process. Trademark owners should be prepared with strong evidence, consider expert opinions from VIBRI, and be vigilant about monitoring inactive domains.
We will hope that information helps you navigate the challenges of protecting your intellectual property rights in Vietnam. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more informative content.